Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Volvo Christian. You're now joining me in uh, the awesome V90 cross country. I'm heading towards uh, Stockholm, and I thought it was uh, a great opportunity to uh, demonstrate how the adaptive cruise control with stair assist works, and uh, primarily how it works when you don't keep your hands on the steering wheel. So this is just an illustration. I don't recommend you doing this yourself. It's not um, recommended at all, so don't try this at home. This is just for illustration purposes to show how awesome Volvo's new safety systems are working in the background. This car here has the Android infotainment system and this uh, safety tech only applies to the cars with Android infotainment. If you have a car with the sensors infotainment, it actually works in a completely different way. So this is just for the Android. If you see the yellow icon down in uh, my driver display here, I hope you can see this. I will put the phone holder uh, slightly closer afterwards for a close up. Then you can see uh, a yellow icon and you can also see a yellow hand on the steering wheel. That means you have the steer assist activated. So now I can, in theory, release the steering wheel. Uh, but it's always recommended to keep your hands on the steering wheel and I always do when I use this system. But after the tunnel here, then I will release the steering wheel and we will see how the, the car um, behaves when you don't follow the prompts. And this is... Um, My point of this video or to show what happens, let's say you get a medical emergency uh, like you faint or you have something, uh, a heart attack or maybe you just fall asleep and if you don't have the adaptive cruise control that can actually save your life. Volvo actually also made a video about it with the XC90 with the old man I had to break in front of uh, some pedestrians. That was actually quite interesting uh, video. But let's see now, and you can count the seconds as I release. Are you ready? Three, two, one. See, I will keep my hands on uh, right next to it, so I can intervene if the car won't suddenly see the lines. And you can count. But now we have an orange uh, indicator. Hold on steering wheel. I forgot to put it on English red icon with the uh, alert, hold on steering wheel. So you see now, the car can't see the lines. So that was uh, very, actually great that you noticed, because that's um, one of the disadvantages. Uh, let's see, English, because then you see, um, but suddenly you can't see the lines and then you don't have it. So we will try again. Three, two, one. I got no cars behind me and that's the main uh, point I'm keeping uh, focus on now. Now I got two cars in front of me, hold steering wheel, but they are pretty far uh, ahead. Hold steering wheel, red alert with the sound. Hold steering wheel, hold steering wheel, red alert. You see the car? actually turns in this light band, higher pitch, pilot assist cancelled, resume active driving, emergency stop assist is activated. No cars behind me, you hear this higher alert, it, now it pulses the brakes one time, one more time, one more time on the brake, now one more time on the brake, 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 no cars behind me, brake, 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 40, brake, 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 hazard lights activated, no cars behind me. Break, 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 break. Stand still. In my lane. Look at this. How awesome isn't that? Wow, that was excellent. Uh, now we can uh, take a kick down. I suddenly see a car in the background. And that is quite awesome. Afterwards, I will put the, the screen uh, closer. And this system are implemented with the Android infotainment. Because when Volvo implemented the Android, they also upgraded the safety tech. 
uh, with the, the ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, and there they upgraded the Pilot Assist and Steer Assist, and also what happens if you don't respond. Actually, if you have a sensors based Volvo and you do the same, let's say you're driving in 100 km per hour and you don't respond to the prompts um, to keep your hands on the steering wheel, then the car will actually shut off the adaptive cruise with steering uh, with the, the steer assist, just completely shut it off. And then you're just free rolling. If your speed are over 60 km per hour while you're free rolling, then you have the lane keeping aid three times for the corrections and then that system will also disengage and that leaves you just free rolling out in a ditch or onto oncoming cars. If you are rolling under 60 km while the adaptive cruise shuts off then you won't get the lane keeping aid to assist you. So this is a huge upgrade. The only thing I wish uh, Volvo did better was actually to jank the seat belt because a couple of years ago I tried um, Audi A6 and also the e-tron and actually the Porsche Cayenne uh, I also tried this system because I have always um, just gonna pass this guy I've always tried the adaptive cruise to see what what um, and how the car behaves and actually I remember those three cars they were actually janking in uh, the seat belt in case you are um, falling to sleep and that gave you a little um, alert so you can hopefully wake up and take control of the car again so this is safety system of actually really really awesome I'm a huge fan I hope they later will eventually use uh, the seat belt because Volvo in this exact car they have the software to jank the seat belt because say you are rolling or driving towards a roundabout if the car if a car another car coming uh, in front of you and this car you're driving thinks you're gonna hit that car even if you have full control if it crosses your path then the car will suddenly just smash on the brakes and then it will pull your seatbelt so the car actually has the system and software to do it so I can't understand why it doesn't apply the seatbelt um, puller in this kind of situation. So now I will stop at um, a convenient place and then I will move the camera down here so you can see what happens in the screen one more time. And remember, as I said, don't try this at home or at the roads. I'm not going to do it while I got the cars behind me because you see the car will break and I don't want to cause any uh, troubles or inconvenience for uh, so I have to do it while uh, it's uh, totally empty behind me so yeah I hope you enjoyed it now I will uh, um, jump over to uh, the other uh, view okay are you ready again we're gonna do exactly the same I will keep my hands real close to intervene and you can now cu count the seconds from I release the steering wheel. So are you ready? One, two, three. Try not to block the view. So now I got my first alert, whole steering wheel and the car is a light bend here and I can feel yeah, whole steering wheel, higher pitch car steers me through this bend. Alert, alert, it steers, it steers. Pilot assist cancel. Resume active driving. Emergency stop. And the car is still steering even if we have a off ramp here. The car is still keeping me in lane. Hold sets the brake one time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Brake, 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 brake. No cars, no cars. No cars or either on this one. No cars. Break, 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 break. No cars, no cars, no cars. Hazard lights. Hazards. And we are at a standstill. Oh, awesome. Okay, kick down. You can see a car in the distant mirror. 
Okay, power. And then we are suddenly down to 90 again. To adjust the speed accordingly. So, what do you think? This is actually pretty darn awesome. I'm quite amazed by this system. This is It's good to know that um, if shit uh, hits the fan and you get a medical emergency or uh, if you fall asleep because you're driving too far or you're tired and then it's pretty awesome to engage the cruise again then it's pretty awesome to, to see that um, there is a safety system in the background looking over you uh, so this is just one of the safety systems that Volvo has uh, and they are constantly improving and getting better and better and with the new EX90 they will push it even further with even more safety tech and that's one of the biggest reasons why I love uh, Volvo their constant focus on passenger safety and, and driver safety and also uh, um, the environment you are driving in so huge thumbs up to, uh, to Volvo huge thumbs up to the V90 hope you enjoyed this video and remember as I said probably 10 times now don't try this at home or at the public streets this is just an illustration so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this uh, short video and you will join me another uh, time in another video so thanks again take care and bye bye